everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Teacher Brett and I'm here to make your teaching life a whole lot easier. If you are like me, you have been spending way too much money on boom cards, grabbing things for your kids, and they're not exactly what you need, but it's close enough. Today I wanna show you an easy way to make boom cards yourself. I know that when I started, it was a struggle. There is a huge learning curve when using Boom Learning. So today, let's make it easy for you. Come along, let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to your Boom Learning account and click on that Studio tab. This is where you're gonna be able to make any kind of Boom Deck that you would like. Today, what I'm gonna show you is just a really simple, basic Boom Deck that you can make. We're gonna do it all within Boom Learning as well. In another video later, I'll show you how you can make fancier ones over in Google Slides or other places and bring them over. But today, let's keep it simple. So once you're in this studio tab, you want to head down to where it says Make Decks. When you click on Make Decks, it's going to bring you to all the decks that you've made previously. And today we're going to create a new one. So we're just going to click at the top up there where it says New Deck. And that's going to bring us to where we can make these boom cards within boom itself now like i said today we're going to keep it really simple we are just going to be doing a deck where kids are clicking uh, on different options i have made this deck a million different times with different types of activities so i have done um healthy and not healthy foods i've done living and non-living things today what i'm working on is a deck for my students to pick out things that are safe or things that are dangerous. So what I'm going to do to save myself some work is I'm going to make what's called a template card. And this template card is something that I'm going to be using on every single screen that the students see. So all I will have to do is just change out the pictures that I want them to identify as safe or dangerous. So I'm gonna make sure up at the top here, I'm in this template card section. You'll see that it's highlighted there in red, so I know I'm working on the template card. And I wanna set it up the same way I've done with my other ones. I wanna put an image in here. Now, I have made um, a couple of images over on Canva. I'll link that video up here for you guys if you want to check out how you can make pictures and images and graphics on Canva um, for free. Uh, just click on over there and that'll show you that. But I've already made a couple of them. I want to grab the image that I've made. And this one is just going to be the heading type image that you're going to see. So I'm going to upload that from my computer. And there it is. This is what I'm going to have going across the top of the card. So I'm just gonna move that to where I want it. All right, to so the top of my card, safe or dangerous, that's the topic I am doing today. So once you have that where you want it, boom, good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna give them those two options. I want a button for safe and a button for dangerous so that the student's gonna look at the picture and pick, do, is it safe or is it dangerous? Now I've also made these buttons over in Canva to make them pretty, but you don't have to do that. You see this button right here that says button? If I pull that down, it makes a little just button. So I could write on here, safe. I could do one for dangerous. Okay, so you could do it that way, but I want to make it pretty. So I have gotten some images, again, that I've made. I'm going to upload those from my computer. So there's the one for dangerous, and here's the one for safe. Now those are in my library. Anything you upload there, it's gonna always be there. So you can see my choices from the healthy and not healthy foods are still on there. Uh, I'm gonna put my safe button on here. Same thing, gonna move it to wherever I want it to. You can resize it. And I wanna drag my dangerous button on here as well. And I'm gonna make them just a little bit bigger. Okay, so this is my template card. This is all I want. This is what I want on every single card. And then you'll see here, my first card, it already has the template on there. Really easy. So I can go to that first card. Now I'm in the first card. I want to put my first image. I want it to be something safe or something dangerous. So again, I'm going to grab an image. 
if you are going to be selling these decks, make sure that whatever images you choose um, are you're legally able to sell them. So I want to start with some knives. Knives are dangerous. Most of my kids will hopefully know that. But I'm going to put that image of knives here on my card. And I'm going to make it nice and big. So here's my first card. That's what it's going to look like to the students. Now I need to tell Boom Cards which one is the right answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that image for dangerous. And I'm going to up here select that it's correct. You'll see that it's now highlighted in green. I'm going to click the safe image and click that this one's wrong. You'll see that one's highlighted in red. That's it. That's as simple as it is. Right like that, boom, it's done. Now I can do the same thing. I can add another card. Notice it pulls down that template that I already set up because that's what's going to be for every single card unless I change it. And again, I'm going to grab an image. This time, let's do a teddy bear, which is safe. And there's my little teddy bear. Again, I need to let Boom Cards know that this one is correct, this one is safe, and dangerous would be the wrong button. So that if the kids click the wrong one, it'll let them know that they clicked the wrong one. Now, the other thing you can do is I could just duplicate this card. So maybe I just wanna duplicate it. You'll see here it says clone the selected card, that little button there. So if I click on that, it's going to give me this again, and I can just change out the picture. I can delete the teddy bear, I just press the backspace on my keyboard to delete that. Or you could also click the delete button up here. And same thing, I'm going to pull down another image. This time, let's grab the image I have saved for bleach. And I'll put it in there. Now, the one thing you want to be careful about is if you duplicate the card, you'll notice it kept my choice options for right and wrong, it kept those from the teddy bear card. So I need to switch those now. I need to make that that one the wrong one and the dangerous one the correct one because bleach is dangerous. There we go. Let's do one more card. Let me show you. I'm going to add a card because I just want that template again. And I'm going to drag the image onto the screen and upload the image that I want to use. This time I'll just do water. Once I've uploaded it into my library, I'm just going to click on that glass of water and it puts it in there. Don't forget to choose that which one's correct and which one is wrong for your students. So this is what it would look like. The student will not see the template card. So we can go to preview and just see what they would see. And this is what it's going to look like for them. Um, this one is safe. Yay! It's going to tell them it's safe. This one's dangerous. Yay! Let's choose a wrong one. What if I say this teddy bear, he looks too cool for school. He must be dangerous. Oh no, it's going to tell me it's wrong. It's going to give me another chance to click that it's correct. And then you can repeat this. So I do this like 30 times, 20, 30 times I can add these cards. The cards will show up in random order unless you change that. Now you can uh, change that order that you want things to go into if you want them to be ra uh, randomized. If you click details up here, you can title this deck. So I'm going to title it safe or dangerous. You can click, you know, what grade it might be in, but you'll notice this button here. It says randomize cards. If you want them to go in the exact order that you put them, just uncheck that box. For this type, I like them to be random. I don't want them to like get, you know, correct, wrong, correct, wrong, correct, wrong, all in an in a order like that. So I just like them kind of randomly happen. Um, we'll talk about flow magic another time. <laughs> We're going to keep it simple today. So you can either have them random or not random. And then what you'll want to do is you just private publish that unless you want to sell it. If you want to sell it, that's a whole nother video. But if you want to just private publish it to use with your own student, you just click that private publish button. Okay, so that's it. That's how you would make the card. Let's go back and then take a look. Once I have created that, you'll see it pops up here in my studio. I want to go to my library now. And in your library, you're going to see everything that you have done. If you want to do a self-published, you can click on that little button. It'll show you the ones that you've personally made. Easiest way to get there. And here's my action. I can assign it to my students. 
So let's say I want to give this to my real world four class. There we go. And that's it. That's done. They now have it in their account. Let me show you really quick also if you wanted to change that um, image. So again, I go back to my studio. I'm going to click on Make Decks. And here's that Safe for Dangerous one I was working on. I'm going to open that up. And right in that Details section, if you want to put a little image there so you can find it easier, just click on that and choose one of your images from the uh, library that you have. So I'm just going to put the little Safe button up there for now. Now it automatically saves. I don't have to click anything. It's saved. So that's it. Really simple way to make those boom cards, um, especially if you're just looking for students to click. If you got some value out of this video, I hope you will subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. If you would like another tutorial on something a little bit more complicated, I'll try and add some more of these in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it will save you some money uh, down the road, and I will see you guys next time.